finding square root by division method we have learned the method of finding square root of a number by prime factorization method but when the numbers are large even the method of finding square root by prime factorization method becomes lengthy and difficult to overcome this problem we use long division method let us find the square root of 529 by division method to find the square root by division method we have to follow the following steps so first step is place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the digit at ones place if the number of digits in it is odd then the leftmost single digit to will have a bar thus we have 29 having a bar and 5 also having a bar second step is find the largest number whose square is less than or equal to the number under the extreme left bar so in the given number we know extreme the digit under the extreme left bar is 5 so we have to find the largest number whose square is less than 5 that is 2 square is less than 5 but 3 square is greater than 5 that is 4 is less than 5 but 9 is greater than 5 so we have to take the number the largest number whose square is less than or equal to 5 that is 2 now take this number that is 2 as the divisor and the quotient with the number under the extreme left bar as the dividend here 5 is the dividend divide and get the remainder so let us divide this 5 29 so the extreme left digit is 5 and we know 2 is the number whose square is less than 5 so 2 as the divisor as well as as the quotient now as usual 2 twos are 4 then we get a remainder 1 now the third step is bring down the number under the next bar that is 29 to the right of the remainder that is the number becomes 129 now the new dividend is 129 to get a divisor double the quotient and enter it with a blank on its right so double the quotient that will be 4 enter it with a blank on its right side next step is guess a largest possible digit fill this blank which will also become the new digit in the quotient such that when the new divisor 
is multiplied by the new quotient the product is less than or equal to the dividend in this case let us consider a digit 3 to fill this blank and the quotient also be 3 now this divisor multiplied by 3 we get 129 and the remainder is 0. Since the remainder is 0 and no digits are left in the given number, therefore, square root of 529 is 23. Exercise 6.4, question number 1. Find the square root of each of the following numbers. First number is 2304. Here also we have to follow the same steps. First, place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the ones digit. That is like this now next step is find the largest number whose square is less than or equal to the number under the leftmost bar here 23 is the leftmost bar so we have to find the number that is 4 square less than 23 but 5 square is greater than 23 so 4 square that is 16 less than 23 therefore we have to take 4 as the divisor and quotient also now as usual 4 fours are 16 then remainder is 7 now the next step is bring down the number under the next bar that is 0 4 now find the next divisor for that double the quotient that is h and write it with a blank on its right. Now, thus a largest possible digit to fill the blank which also becomes the new digit in the quotient. Such that when the new digit is multiplied to the new quotient, the product is less than or equal to the dividend. In this case, we can guess a number that is 8 and the quotient also 8. Now, 8 multiplied by 88. 8 8s are 64. 8 8s are 64 plus 6, 70. So, the remainder is 0. Therefore, square root of 2304 is equal to 48. Next question is 4489. We can follow the same steps and here the number is 6 then quotient also 6, 6, 6 are 36 remainder is 8 then bring down the next bar 89 double the quotient that is 6 to star 12 with a blank then we can take a number 7 
and quotient also 7. Now 7 into 127 is 889. So the square root of 4489 is equal to 67. Now the next number is 3481. So here also putting the bar then find a number that is 5 then quotient also 5 5 5 are 25 remainder 9 bring down the next number so 981 then double the number that will be 10 then find a number that is 9 quotient also 9 now 9 multiplied by 9 109 is 981 here remainder 0 since the remainder is 0 therefore square root of 3481 is equal to 50 59 now next number is 3249 let us place bars then 32 here we have we can take the number as the divisor 5 then quotient also 5 now 5 5 are 25 remainder is 7 bring down the next bar 49 double the quotient that is 10 blank now gus a number that is 7 and quotient also 7 7 7 are 49 7 4 and 7 remainder is 0 therefore square root of 3 2 4 9 is equal to 57 next number 1369 now 3 as the divisor and quotient also 3 3 are 9 remainder 4 bring down next bar that is 69 now double the quotient 3 2 are 6 it is blank now gus a number that is 7 and quotient also 7 now 7 multiplied by 67 we get 469 remainder is 0 therefore square root of 1369 is equal to 37 next number 5776 putting bar we get 76 first bar and 57 is the left bar now divisor is 7 and uh, quotient also 7 so 7 7 are 49 remainder is 8 bring down the next bar that is 76 now double the quotient that is 14 7 2's are 14 with a blank now gus a digit that is 6 and quotient also 6 6 into 146 is 876 so remainder is 0 therefore square root of 5776 is equal to 76 now next number is 7921 putting bar then the number 8 is the divisor and quotient also 8 8 eights are 64 and remainder is remainder is 15 then bring down the next bar double the quotient that is 16 then gus a number that is 9 so 9 multiplied 9 by 169 we get 1521 1, remainder is 0 therefore square root of 7 9 2 1 is equal to 89 next number 576 so here also first 
place the bars then here 2 2 are 4 remainder 1 bring down next bar 176 double the quotient that is 4 gus a digit 4 and quotient also 4 now 4 multiplied by 44 we get 176 that is remainder is 0 therefore 500 square root of 576 is equal to 24 next number 1024 then 3 3 are 9 remainder 1 24 is the next bar now double the quotient 6 with a blank and guess a number that is 2 now quotient also 2 multiplied by 62 we get 124 remainder 0 therefore square root of 1024 is equal to 32 now next number 3136 putting bars now here 5 5 are 25 remainder is 6 bring down next bar now the new dividend is 636 now double the quotient that is 10 with a blank and guess a number that is 6 now 6 into 106 is 636 remainder is 0 and therefore square root of 3136 is equal to 56